Hey everyone, it's DJ uh, with the Silverback Tavern and Theater Man Cave. I'm back here to do a another quick little updated video for those who uh, have seen the previous video, which I think is now at um, 183,000 views. So I appreciate that. I uh, appreciate everyone's uh, kind words and... I find it comical for the ones who uh, leave the nasty messages about being a uh, Trump supporter. I mean, come on, people. Like, get over it. I like Trump. Who cares? That's not what this is about. Anyway, so I started off with this uh, Man Cave build back in 2018. Started off with just a completely uh, concrete basement. There wasn't anything down here. It was just concrete floors, concrete walls. Um, and thought, okay, well, at my last house, I had a theater room. And I really missed that. So I was just going to put a basic screen up and stuff. But when I started it, it just kind of got away from me. Um, so it's been fun ever since. Uh, wanted something to be completely unique something that you don't typically see in someone's house um i tend to uh kind of go all out when i when i do something i try to uh take it next level so um it's kind of themed after uh, uh you know like old school rustic uh, bourbon um, kind of like outdoor living type stuff like this uh, poker table. Um, well, it started off with this pallet wall. We went, we went around town and collected a bunch of pallets from local businesses, broke them all down, put, put a coat of poly on them for the colors to really pop. And I had so, so many leftover boards that a buddy of mine built this poker table out of pallet wood. You can see I flush mounted a safe down there for when we play cards. I had uh, these co uh, custom poker chips made with my logo on them. Uh, a buddy of mine made me these coasters. My brother actually made this from a hand. He has an Etsy store where he, uh, he makes like retro um, video game memorabilia out of these little I don't know what you would call them, um, like little pegs or something, but um, he did that with the gorilla from Rampage uh, to kind of tie it in with the silverback uh, theme down here. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick walk around showing uh, behind there is my main water shutoff valve. So we built that to where all of those come out real easy and uh, then you have access to your main shutoff. Um, I've been a fan of the Arcade 1-Up. Uh, I have a number of them and uh, I'd like to get a couple more, but I've tried working with the company and uh, waiting to hear back from them. I've got the old school Nintendo box. I've got the beer pong. Darts bar turned out really really cool um, so right here is a main drain for the house right inside there and then on that side is the support beam that holds that all up so when I was designing this I was like what am I going to do there because you know you're going to have these two eyesores out in the middle of the room but I came down here with a painter's tape, that blue painter's tape, and I start marking everything down on the floors. It took me days to come up with something that I liked. And I thought, okay, well, we'll build the, bo we'll build the bar and picture frame that to, to make it look like nothing's even there. And it turned out really cool. Uh, I got TVs pretty much everywhere. I like hosting a lot of UFC fights and, um, that way it don't matter if you're sitting at the poker table, sitting at the bar, sitting uh, in front of the main screen, shooting pool over there, or even going to the bathroom. There's, there's a TV above the urinal, so that way you don't miss any action. 
Um, this is pretty much my Buffalo Trace um, shelf, I guess you could say. I actually just got this as a birthday present, uh, which today is my birthday, um, oddly enough. And then, if anyone knows anything about Blanton's, I have all the horses running around the actual buffalo. And then, you know, also down here. And if you do know anything, they're all individually lettered right there. So they all spell out Blanton's and then the horse is in a running stride. So I have, uh, and that's the Blanton's gold, which you can't get, well, they don't sell in the uh, United States. And then that's straight from the barrel. Got a couple uh, really nice bourbons. I'm mainly just a collector, but I thought that that turned out really nice. Um, they don't make a uh, console long enough for down here so that's one of the pieces down here that i i built myself turned out pretty cool um all these doors i did design them i did have a, a friend build them for me he did an amazing job he also is the one that did the floors down here and um he was a big help he did uh, a lot of the bar he actually built uh, the wet bar, which all the plumbing is ran for the sink, which will be where the uh, popcorn maker is, but I haven't uh, put the sink in yet. Same thing for the bathroom is I have a barrel in there to make into a sink, but all the plumbing's ran, but it's not done yet. Um, it's about 1,400 square feet down here in, in total. Um, I just got done uh, doing that back wall and, and the uh, chalkboard paint and that mirror is just like a cheap builder's grade bathroom mirror that uh, my parents were actually going to throw away but I took some of that leftover pallet board and framed it out and made it look like a really big cool rustic mirror that's the other TV for in here got the ping pong table set up but that just comes right off if you want to play pool, I have not hung that up yet, but that's like an old school uh, Coke sign that plugs in and lights up. Um, let's see what else. The bathroom I felt like every man cave uh, should have a urinal, and then the TV right above it. Got the toilet, uh, shower with the. Uh, oversized rainfall I'm not done in here obviously I, like I said I still have to uh, finish this sink but that is a half of a wheelbarrow um, but that's why I have this live edge wood sitting over there gonna have uh, a guy help me out and uh, build a custom sink right there this is kind of like themed after like uh, old school oil, gasoline. But everything down here is pretty much custom done, uh, custom made. Um, if anyone has any questions, feel free to post. I try to get to them as much as I can. Uh, also, the guy that did a lot of the work down here turned this into a uh, secret room. So that bookshelf. Now, I haven't done anything in that room yet, but that opens up. Uh, it could be used as a safe room or um, hide a lot of uh, my guns and stuff like that. But people have been asking for an updated video and this is it as of right now so um if you want to uh i don't know what the generic thing is everyone always says uh like and subscribe then uh, i'll try to post out some more stuff 
as it comes along. Um, all right, appreciate it, everyone. Thanks.